hey lovelies welcome back it's been a minute since my last video um life has been lifing okay so we're going to unbox november's boxy charm i believe this month was icon month so I the icon box um all the information for the products listed below like i'll have the prices in the description box instead of on the video it's just quicker for me to do it that way so that way i can get the uploads upload it a lot quicker rather than having to sit down and edit or well, rather than writing down notes for my husband to edit because we have just been very pressed for time lately so here is this little newspaper thing or what have you i don't even know if you guys can see it all the way um there we are yeah, okay I'm going to start off with the most exciting item. So this was the Boost item, whatever. I actually already own this palette. It's a very pretty palette by Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty. Uh, I'm going to be giving this away. I have been stockpiling a little box full of stuff that I want to give away. Because I haven't done a giveaway in ages. But I've just been very busy. Busy is the word of the day. <laughs> Um, but yeah, as you can see, very, very pretty. Beautiful palette. <coughs> the next item is from Alamar Cosmetics. This is, this is a liquid blush. don't know the shade of this. Amor de Melicotin. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's the actual name of the shade, but it's a nice peachy color. And it has that little sponge tip applicator. Very much reminiscent of a Charlotte Tilbury liquid blush and cream contour. <coughs> I have some white on here just in case. Then we got this from LIS. This is a dual lip gloss. I don't think I have any lip products from LIS. So the first shade is called Speak Love. This looks very dark in the two but we'll see what the you gotta squeeze it so the pigment is like okay this seems very pigmented and super glossy okay i'm actually not mad at that this is a pretty color to wear during these cold months very pretty the next shade looks to be like of a orange tinge and this is called Wait, are they both? They both say speak love. I'm confused. Or is that the name of the product? Probably. Oh, okay, yes, I was wrong. Okay, so for, this shade is called OG. I'm reading the side of the box. And this shade is called Lovable. Sorry, my mistake. I don't know why they don't have it, like, on the actual component, the name of the shade. Or am I just blind? They certainly do. Okay, way down here at the bottom it says lovable. And then as you see over here it says OG. Yeah, I just wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my AC, but it's hot. It's always hot. So as you can see, yes, yeah, it's a clear. I'm definitely gonna be keeping these items. 
The next item is from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Rihanna. How are we gonna say? I, I swear, a lot of people say it's Rihanna. I'll just say it's Rihanna. Whatever. I think she and in, it's in, in multiple interviews that her name is pronounced Rihanna. But anyway, this is. I haven't tried this lip product from her. This is cold. What shade are you? Coco Drizzle 04. Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. So it's a tinted lip balm. Okay. Her glosses definitely smell better but i united this oh i like how creamy it feels and there's definitely some color so okay i will be using her during these colder months so we have a pat mcgrath lipstick is there i don't buy it from pat mcgrath because they're too expensive and because they're not cold too free but I mean, ooh, this does not contain any talc. Um, I think I'm really actually gonna keep this lipstick and give it a try. If I don't like it, I'll probably pass it on to my sister, but that's the shade. This shade is called Christy. Well, that's the name of the shade. And we also have a Pat McGrath uh, quad. This is in, it's probably Divine Rose. How much you want to invest in Divine Rose? Mm hmm Divine Rose looks quad. Like, Pat McGrath is known for the whole Divine Rose name or whatever. I feel like, anyways, if you know, you know. There you go. Okay, okay nice i will be passing this along because there is talc in here and then we got this which unfortunately does have talc but i love the Too Faced brand but this is called the sun bunny radiant duo tone bronzer i will be passing this along but that's what the component looks like And that is the inside. Let's see if you can see the without the reflection. There we go. Nice and goldy tone. Goldy tone. Then we have this from Danessa Myricks. Now I just watched this and I must say I was not impressed. First of all, what is this? This is a Dew Wet Balm Highlighting Face and Body Balm. <coughs> so I just, okay. Here is the product. Now you would think, okay, you see nice little pinky shift. It's not gonna translate at all. It's literally, and I don't even think it dries down cause it's meant to be like a balm but there's I don't know I just I don't know how I feel about this I just like you barely see the color it just it looks like colored Vaseline almost at least that's how it feels you see very very light color the more you you know it just fades away like oh, where did you go cool magic trick right where'd it go I just mm, I'm not feeling this I don't like it. I, I wouldn't even pass this on because it's like, no. The shade is called rose water, but it's where to go. You just see like a, a sheen, but I, I can achieve the same look with Vaseline. Anyways, needless to say, it's not my journey. And we have this, which is from the Dew of the Gods. This is a skincare product. This is pretty big component okay this is what are you a retinol plus oat milk hyaluronic cream blend so is this a serum is this a moisturizer like what are you if i had to put money i'm gonna 
that navy serum. Hmm, there's a little pump on it, but an all day moisturizer. Huh? Okay, it's a moisturizer. Okay, it's a moisturizer. Okay. And that was it for my box. All in all, I think it was a pretty good month for the exception of a couple of products like that. The Nessa Myrix, oh, I'm getting, okay, I'm getting this makeup everywhere. The Hoodie Beauty, the Huda Beauty palette was amazing. Uh, the Pat McGrath products, I mean, that's, uh, Pat McGrath is very, very, very expensive. Like, she pricey. She bougie. So that was nice to get in the box, both the lipstick and the eyeshadow palette. The LMA Cosmetics liquid blush, I'm super excited to try that. I feel like I'd get more use out of that color during the summertime because it's a nice peachy color. And that's kind of when I tend to wear more of those colors during the summer. Um, oh, this is like a dark peach. That was more of a light peach. What else? Skincare, I love to get skincare. I say it all the time because skincare is very expensive. So if I can get it in a box, give it to me. Um, Fenty Beauty, I always love getting Fenty Beauty products. So I'm definitely happy about that. The Too Faced, I'm gonna pass along, but it was nice to get a Too Faced product in the box. <sighs> Am I missing anything? I think that was it. I think the only like really huge letdown was that Danessa Myrick's Tinted Vaseline Balm, whatever you wanna call it, yeah, no. It ain't for me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, stay tuned for the next video and have a good one. Bye.